five tips with fairings. Number one, structure or staged. Fairings found in the payload tab are extremely handy. Typically, fairings are used to shield your payloads during ascent and are jettisoned afterward. However, they can be used to create a structure or a hole for your spacecraft and conceal delicate parts inside. It can be helpful to eliminate accidental staging. Right click on the fairing and disable the ability to stage so you don't accidentally break it apart with the spacebar. Number two, interstage nodes. Another tweakable option for fairings is to display interstage nodes. This can be useful for creating vehicles that have a gap to dock other craft, modules, or fuel. You can also utilize interstage nodes to cram multiple payloads onto a single rocket and release them one by one. You can make construction bit less finicky by attaching a part to an interstage node and then turning off the feature between uses. Number three, deploy styles. For slick looks, you can right click and change the way a fairing deploys. By default, fairings explode apart, but with the clamshell deploy option, they break up in a specified number of sides. You may want to consider modifying the ejection force so your fairing doesn't bash your payload. Number four, use it as a heat shield. Fairings can take a tremendous amount of heat before exploding. This makes them extremely useful for creating heat resistant shells for landing craft. You can also affix a heat shield to the base of the fairing and create all sorts of interesting aero shells and large capsules. Number five, clipping fairings. Another interesting construction technique with fairings is using two fairings back to back and then clipping them inside of each other with the move tool. This creates an extremely heat resistant body that you can pack full of parts. You can also use a similar technique to cram a bunch of solid rocket boosters into a fairing and create a larger, more powerful solid rocket. Thanks for watching! Join me next time for 5 Tips with the Move Tool.